Hey guys, welcome back to IMS Academy, August 20th, 2016. Seth, Nighthawk, rocking and rolling. We're starting from the standing, so here we go. Clinch position, doing some of this head wrestling right now, trying to work for those uh, those underhooks, get body locks, trip takedowns, and um, it's hard to get open leg takedowns when you are in the clinch. You usually need a little bit of separation, so this is a very grueling aspect of the game. It re uh, Footwork is paramount here. It's very key. Um, I'm going to try and set Andrew up here with a, uh, a trip takedown. So I'm going to let back up. There it was. I let him step with his right foot. And as soon as he does, I step forward with my left and trip. And uh, so that was just footwork at its finest there. And getting that takedown and the advantage. So advantage is key because if you... Uh, have a sense of urgency when you're on your feet and you wrestle for a top position then you put your opponent on your back and you're in a position to to be much more effective and do damage here uh, with the can opener he's got butterflies here and I controlling that head so he can't open up his hips and extend me away as I'm still trying to press those knees either left or right and be able to pass those legs um, I really like butterfly guard it's effective you can do a whole bunch of stuff from there he creates a little bit of space but then there was no urgency to get up and i was able to come right back in get head arm control there's two submissions i like to work from here one is the japanese necktie you guys are probably seeing it a lot as i roll with nighthawk and the other is the guillotine or head and arm guillotine and uh you basically sacrifice yourself and i would roll to my right and then i would pull guard and wrap the legs um so i have them in a center position still got that head and arm and it looks like I'm going to go for that guillotine. There it is, I wrap up the body, but I actually lose my hand clasp here. And he's feeling with his left hand, he knows that I am just have his uh, chin hooked at this point. I'm taking my right leg, I'm trying to butterfly hook because I know I'm not gonna get the choke. He does a good job of staying on top, but does not apply enough pressure. It allows me to create a frame and get my knees underneath me, and we're right back to the feet. Now it's an even proposition where he should have been on top, if he would have scrambled and had a little bit more urgency there. So we need to work on that. And I'm pushing him his back against the turnbuckle here or the rope so he can't really get his hips away. But he's able to control my head. I hand fight immediately, get my head back. Always do that. Don't let a guy control your head for too long. If they control the head, they control the body. Simple wrestling right there. Um, here we go, single collar here. And do a slight level change. Try to push his back up against the ropes did not work. He's trying to get that body hook underneath. We pummel, I get a deep underhook over the left side. I try for that throw and he does a little bit of urgency as he gets the body lock, but as I do that, I get the double wrist lock here, Kimura position, and I'm taking my right leg and I keep driving to keep his back flat to the mat so he's not able to turn his knees down. If he turn his knees down, I'll get on top. And there it was, me just out wrestling there as I have the arm. Now he's very tough to get Kimuras or arm bars here. Um, it's a submission or a position I get on a lot of guys and I can get uh, those submissions all the time but Nighthawk man he's comfortable being in those positions and where you're comfortable is great but what's wrong is just allowing guys to get that position on you because there you might come across somebody that's much better than I am at being able to get Kimuras or arm bars you know, from that transitionary position there and um, even here like you know I've got my left knee I'm just kind of resting on his head and cooking and he's just in a position he's, he's not trying to regain any positions back so much <clears throat> there it was i went to mount and slowly but surely i keep working for more dominance now again andrew's submission defense is great but we want a little bit more than just having great submission defense i want you to have better positional awareness and just we you shouldn't be here right it's uh, his back is flat. He's not wrestling with his legs enough. I, you know, I'd like for Nighthawk to get a little smaller here and be a ball, and not allow me just to keep grinding on him, because uh, eventually that's what's going to happen. Is I'm just going to break all these like guards and and it's, that's it. Is I'm just I'm just going to work. Um, and if it's a fight, then I could be mixing up striking here too, and it, it would get ugly very fast. Uh, looks like I'm about to take the back here. I tried to trap and hook his right arm, but you see he did a really nice job of keeping that up. I'm a little high on his body, but I'm working a body triangle. I'm on the foot right now. Uh, I like to be over the ankles and have the foot at 90. <clears throat> but 
I just keep working yourself in, working myself in position, uh, working this cowboy choke here with the long grip and lock it out. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Good roll, Nighthawk. IMS, and we out.